Hi guys, welcome back to this week's video. Today is the 19th of February. I apologise in advance for my creaky chair, I need to get a new one. Um, so I couldn't decide what to film today. I couldn't decide whether to film a book review for a book I recently read or to film me reading one of my short stories. Um, in the end, I've decided I'm going to review this book because it's still fresh in my mind um, and then either next video or the video after will be story, me reading one of my short stories. But yeah, anyway, we're going to review a book this week and the book I'm going to re be reviewing is The Vow That Twisted Fate by Catherine Graham. So yeah, let's get straight into the video. So I was lucky enough to be asked by the author, by Catherine herself, to be part of the street team for the book. So basically this copy is an ARC copy. So I'm going to read you the blurb and then like I'll kind of talk just a little bit about the book and then I'll give my review of the book. A world without evil is all Queen Arlena has ever known. But when an ominous pentagram appears in the sky, her innocent days of blissful court life, playing politics with other races and daydreaming of marrying the stoic elven prince Talon comes to an abrupt end. When an eerily familiar phantom warn when an eerily familiar phantom warns her of the imminent collision with the parallel world ruled by an ancient sorceress, Arlena must confront the true nature of not only her own world but her very existence. Calling a company of legendary dwarven warriors forward in her time, into her time, Arlena and her allies must brave a world they are completely unprepared for in order to save their own. Will the naive queen and her companions be able to stop the invasion without being forever changed in the process? So basically at the beginning of the book you meet Queen Arlena. I'm I'm I think this is how I think the names are pronounced. I could I'm probably just completely wrong. Um and I'm really sorry if I'm wrong. <laughs> but um yeah, you meet Arlena at the beginning of the book and she she is the queen of a kingdom obviously and she lots of people call her the white queen reborn so the white queen is valaria who basically like banished the evil sor uh, sorceress Nidra. i'm not quite sure again how to say these um but yeah the entire book is kind of Arlena just kind of coming to grasp with who she is and in the process she has to deal with not only her world changing but her family and her friends changing and yeah it's it's pretty it's pretty intense um the beginning of the book for me personally was very hard to stick with I really struggled reading it but I think I just I'd finished a book and it was really good so I think it was just the moving on to another book um but once I got to about a quarter of the way through I I couldn't put it down it was absolutely amazing but the plot twists I think I I didn't see coming they were crazy and the characters were just they were so believable and I love when I find a book that not I not only do I absolutely love, um, a book that the characters I can believe in um, and feel believable. And can I just point out, this is Arlena and this is uh, Madra, 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 I'm not quite sure. But can I just point out, I really want that hair. I want her hair, it's so pretty. Like, yeah, I love it. Um, but yeah, it was so good. <laughs> I really enjoyed myself reading it. And I think once I had like about half the book left, I found it really hard to put down and stop reading in the middle of the night. I was like staying up really late reading it because I just couldn't stop. But yeah, I'm, it was absolutely amazing. And I think it's one of those if I'd gone into a bookstore and seen it on the shelf, I don't think I would have hesitated before picking it up. It's absolutely amazing. Um, and I will leave the author's Instagram handle down below. Um, 
so yeah that's this week's video and i really hope you go and pick up the velvet twisted fate when it comes out on july 9th i really recommend it it's definitely worth it um yeah i will see you guys in two weeks so in the first saturday of march i'm not sure when that is bye guys